Hello. Good evening, all. I guess I am audible. Okay. Uh, in the December first, World AIDS Day, I touch it. Uh, so in the IEDVL Kerala Community Dermatology and Media Cell, a live Q and A session plan. Jee drikhi ana. And I am Dr. Athira Mohan, Consultant Dermatologist, Serene Derma Trivandrum. I am the host in the live session. And uh, uh, she had worked as a dermatologist and hiv physician in snehadan which is a community care center uh, for people living with hiv uh, during her time in the field she represented india in the who while working on a global manual for hiv physicians on the ground in resource poor areas uh, so paryanigi in the session we are extremely happy that we have got the right person with us so, you can post here, you can ask us, and we'll try our level best to clear all your doubts. Uh, so, we'll start with the first question. Hello, Dr. Athira. 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 Hello, Dr. Okay. Hi. So. I'm Dr. Preeti, and today uh, we have World AIDS Day, and uh, today is actually the 35th year we are celebrating World AIDS Day uh, since 19, uh, you know, after 1983, the virus was detected. So we're 40 years down the line. So it's great to be here, and uh, on behalf of IDVL Kerala. So have a good, good evening, everybody, and hope you like and um, benefit and clear some we are able to help you clear some doubts and please leave your comments and please ask your questions uh so over to you yeah i think i'll start the session with uh, the commonest doubt uh what is hiv what is aids because if a person is detected to be hiv positive does that mean he has actually aids but what is the difference between hiv and aids in another particular Okay, uh, I'll start. Um, actually, I can't see your video, uh, but that's okay. You can see me, Ella. Uh, you can't see I, me. I can't see you. Um, I can see myself, uh, but I think it's fine as long as you can see me. Uh, yeah? Okay. Okay, perpella. So, um, yeah. Apo, HIV and AIDS actually, we say it together, HIV AIDS, but it's, it's a little different. Um, and what we need to understand is HIV in the human immunodeficiency virus. HIV in the HIV is not equal to AIDS. Karanam, uh, HIV infection on diashesham during a period of time, uh, AIDS is to manifest out. So, AIDS is a symptom complex. It's a infection by HIV. And gradually, as the body goes through this HIV infection, it can be years, many years in fact, that's why AIDS is a symptom complex. And there are many stages for that also that we will discuss as we go along. Hmm. I think we can discuss that also, madam. HIV infection, AIDS, what are the stages? Um, yeah. And yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, upon HIV, uh, I'd say day zero. Day zero, I think day one, there are symptoms. Uh, Nobody is aware of their status or you know, HIV infection. Um, over a couple of months, 
ഓർ എ ഫ്യൂ വീക്സ് ചിലപ്പം ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു വൈറൽ ഇല്ലനെസ് പോലെ ഒരു പനിയോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കുറച്ച് ഫ്ലൂ പോലെ ഒരു സിംറ്റംസ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടാകാം ചിലർക്ക് ഒരു റാഷ് ഉണ്ടാകും ചിലർക്ക് ലിംഫെണ്ണോപ്പതി കഴിലാളാലെ കുറെയൊക്കെ എൻലാർജ് ചെയ്ത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു സിക്നെസ് പോലെ തോന്നാം ബട്ട് നോട്ട് എവറിബഡി ഗോസ് ടു ദാറ്റ് സോ മോസ്റ്റ്ലി എച്ച് ഐ വി ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ വന്ന ശേഷം അത് ഏ സിംറ്റമാറ്റിക് ആണ് പക്ഷെ ഓവർ ദ ഇയേഴ്സ് കുറച്ച് സിംറ്റംസ് ഉണ്ടാവും അത് വി നീഡ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് അപ്പൊ എച്ച് ഐ വി വൈറസ് വൺസ് ഇറ്റ് എൻറ്റേഴ്സ് അവർ ബോഡി ഇതിന്റെ മെയിൻ ടാർഗറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി എഫക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മളുടെ വൺ ഓഫ് ആർ ആർമി സെൽസ് എന്ന് വേണമെങ്കിൽ പറയാം സി ഡി ഫോർ ടി ലിംഫോസൈറ്റ്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് സെൽസ് ഉണ്ട് ആ സെൽസിനെ ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ഈ എച്ച് ഐ വി വൈറസിന്റെ ടാർഗറ്റ് അപ്പോ സി ഡി ഫോർ സെൽസ് നമ്മളുടെ ബോഡിയിൽ ആദ്യമേ കുറച്ചൊക്കെ ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ചെയ്താൽ വി മേ നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എനി ഇഷ്യൂ പക്ഷെ ആഫ്റ്റർ എ പീരിയഡ് ഓഫ് ടൈം ആസ് ടൈം ഗോസ് ഓൺ ആ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സെൽസ് ഡിക്രീസ് ആവും എച്ച് ഐ വി വൈറസിന്റെ നമ്പേഴ്സ് ബോഡിയിലും ബ്ലഡിലും ഒക്കെ ഇൻക്രീസ് ആവും തോറും ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി കുറയും ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി കുറയുമ്പോഴത്തേന് പല ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിസ്റ്റിക് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് അതുപോലെ സാധാരണ നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റുന്ന് വരാൻ സാധ്യതയുള്ള ലൈക് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ഒരു പനി ചുമ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്കിൻ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് പൂപ്പല് ഇതേപോലെയൊക്കെ ചിലപ്പം സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ആവും നമ്മൾ വി ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദി പ്രോഗ്രസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഡിസീസ് സോ ഇനീഷ്യലി ഫോർ സ്റ്റേജസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു സ്റ്റേജസ് ലാസ്റ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ഏ സിംറ്റമാറ്റിക് ചിലർക്ക് വായിൽ ഒരു ചെറിയ പൂപ്പലൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവും ദറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സം സ്കിൻ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻസ് മേ കം But after that, stage 3 and 4, സ്റ്റേജ് ത്രീ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ക്ലിനിക്കലി പറയുന്നത് ഇസ് മോർ സീരിയസ് കാരണം അന്നേരമാണ് പീപ്പിൾ ക്യാൻ ഡെവലപ്പ് ട്യൂബക്ലോസിസ് പീപ്പിൾ ക്യാൻ ഡെവലപ്പ് സിവിയർ ഫോംസ് ഓഫ് ട്യൂബക്ലോസിസ് ലൈക്ക് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ലങ് ടി വി അത് കുറച്ച് സിവിയർ ആവും ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് കൻ എഫക്ട് ദ ബ്രെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് കൻ എഫക്ട് ഡിഫറെ പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ബോൾ അപ്പൊ യെസ് അതർ സൈഡ്സ് അപ്പോ ദാറ്റ് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് ബിക്കംസ് മോർ അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് അപ്പോ പേഷ്യൻസിന്റെ ഇമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി അത്രയും കുറഞ്ഞു എന്ന് അർത്ഥം ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻഡിക്കേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് പെഹാപ്സ് പ്രോഗ്രസ് ഇൻ ടു എയ്ഡ്സ് Hmm. so uh, that is what the stages of uh, hiv infection is and finally we end with aids yeah this is very important kana oru vaadu peru choikkarunde hiv ide symptom endaanu ipo when can one suspect that he has contracted aids allengil hiv ennallathu but there is no symptom for hiv as such ee baaki illa infections indeyum okke ullo oru symptoms aanu hiv aids patients ile ഉണ്ടാവുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളത് ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ദോസ് ഹു ഹാവ് ജോയിൻഡ് ലേറ്റ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒത്തിരി പേര് ജോയിൻ ആയിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ ലൈഫ് വാനേ സെഷൻ ഓൺ എച്ച് ഐ വി എയ്ഡ്സ് ആണ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നടക്കുന്നത് സോ യു ക്യാൻ പോസ്റ്റ് എനി ഡൗട്ട്സ് എന്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ക്വറീസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും യു ക്യാൻ പോസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ ക്ലാരിഫൈ യുവർ ഡൗട്ട്സ് ഓൺ എച്ച് ഐ വി ആൻഡ് എയ്ഡ്സ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഉണ്ട് ക്യാൻ ബി ഗെറ്റ് എച്ച് ഐ വി ബൈ ബ്ലഡ് ഡൊണേഷൻ this is again oru endana nammude hiv transmission od anbandhichittu ottri beliefs and disbeliefs undu oru vaadu myths endana fake aayittu thane ippo ottri pandoke whatsapp messages varuvayirunnu fruity le hiv patient blood kalarnittunde allengile cinema theater le hiv patient use cheyada needle seat il ittittu adu prick cheyid ottri perke hiv vannu nokke so Uh, there are many such myths and uh, uh, messages uh, that is being circulated regarding the transmission of hiv so um, uh, can you comment on this madam endakana sherikkum hiv transmit cheyan pattunna modes and engane okay hiv transmit aagilla ennane pettittu oru overview tharamo yes appo hiv infection uh, i think most popularly nammal kekumbodena we all know that it is transmitted to sexual contact our sexual contact route is what gives it a certain form of stigma also apo idalla of course there's also transmission through blood okay so body fluids blood and then valare important aitu or transmission aanu maternal to child transmission so what happens is uh, most commonly what we know is through sexual contact adum sexual contact the most uh, the the most uh, if i would say the highest rates of transmission is through penetrative vaginal sex more than anal sex and that no compared to blood transfusions like somebody asked a question about blood transfusion so when we donate blood we don't get hiv obviously but exactly. when uh, the question i think is coming from the aspect of like other shared needles and you know if those kind of things adile pole risk undu that's the yes 
But say the other thing is, suppose the person who donated blood, our HIV undaranengil, then definitely there is HIV in the blood, and that blood, if it is given to another person, will it will hundred percent chance of uh, creating HIV or causing HIV in the donor. Other mm -hmm. word, all blood products, blood and blood products before transfusion is checked multiple times for HIV. And that another donation or as we get it, another one. And secondly, we transfuse it also only after checking. So that way, a lot of transmission has come down. There, the other three are we learn no. So HIV, even hepatitis B, okay, through blood transfusion, so contract is the alcohol. Um, so that is the blood question. Sexual question again is about yes, through sexual contact definitely. It doesn't spread through all body fluids. For example, saliva, umniri na angan atrem transmission illa. Unless of course a rectum color na body fluid anangil. Ah, dravagatle. Ah, adle virus jeevchiri kinnu apo effective white color transmission onda. But other than that, we don't have to be worried about you know using the same plate. Washing the clothes of a patient who has HIV, or नमल अड़ती रही किन्हों, अंगन तक के myths तो you know just पौधवे और लोगों का stigma यू मांगने रो fears वो के is unbi is unbased, it's really not relevant. There is another question. Yeah, I saw the question. Yeah, with the mosquito bite. Ah, yeah. So that's very interesting because again, that is again mosquito तो नहीं आना. But what is what we have to understand is uh, HIV actually lives in blood, right? Once it is taken out from the blood, or rather our blood the viable along CD4 cells in our viability for our angle, the HIV virus is not very strong. So it starts dying out. So within a few minutes, then HIV virus actually dies out. And uh, it's almost not going to be infective once it is uh, you know dry. Now in the mosquito, what happens is, of course, the concept of you know going and biting another person. Now, one thing we have to know is that HIV does not live in the mosquito; it cannot replicate there. Apa if can if it cannot multiply, it cannot be transmitted. So basically, adu under through a mosquito bite, it is not possible to contract HIV. So we have another question: Can you comment on winter period of AIDS? Uh, doctors already um, at stages parnello initially there was an asymptomatic uh, initial phase a zero conversion phase and um, can you uh, please yeah. elaborate on yeah yeah apo uh, that i think palarku adinu or arvu und as in like that you cannot detect it so again the fear is because of that uh, so many people yeah even as namaku patients verarundu oru vaad vere veendum veendum hiv test cheyidittu varuna aalkar undu That is because I think this concept of window period is somewhat, uh, you know, is there, but other than the correct end one, not it illa, palarum. So, uh, to tell you very clearly, uh, once HIV infection, uh, from say today, if I have been exposed to HIV, and tomorrow if I check my blood, there is no way that I will know that I have HIV or not. Uh, so what happens is, a uh, virus enter a system, ordinary blood will detectable illa. So. Next detectable आउने नमले टेस्टर को लगा गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड टेस्टर एलाइज़ आना नमले आधा पिकअप इन अदर एक्चुअली विल इट विल पिक इट अप ओनली आफ्टर अबाउट थ्री वीक्स टू फोर वीक्स बेसिकली मेबी विद अ न्यूअर यू नो जेनरेशन ऑफ किड्स द डिटेक्टेबिलिटी इज़ इंक्रीज़ सो पॉसिबली अराउंड अवर मंथ ये एंटीबॉडीज़ ने आना ये टेस्टेड डिटेक्टेड है अब आदमी इतने उन समय एड को तो उनका आउट एक विंडो पीरियड होंगे वेर इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ़ द वायरस सो एनी टेस्ट इफ देर इज़ अ स्ट्रॉंग सस्पेशन दैट इंगेनो एक्सपोज़र ऑन्डाइ अलग इस देर इज़ अ पॉसिबिलिटी वी That means only when the virus is kind of slowly circulating in the system, our samayta normal to detect the chain of angle. Adhanath specific nucleoside detection test under the remember our viral particles in a matram pick up in the read. Adum, it's very difficult to do it like immediately. Maybe after a period of ten days, ten days to two weeks, help and detect out. 
Okay. So that is the that is the test which is available. Like you know, we we look for the viral particles. Ado under, naamal chayar under. In fact, those tests are done very uh, you know nowadays mostly for our patients who are on ART. Karna ma viral load marker marker area mendi. Our test naamal chayar on. But mm -hmm. window period le again our first two weeks na it's very difficult to know that whether there is HIV infection or not. So the same question is being asked. Any test to detect? Yeah, uh, yeah. So already answered that. Uh, can we check for HIV infection in any lab? And another question uh, we got from Akutikari. I I think so. I think any lab. We have come to a state where any lab uh, in India should be able to check. Uh, a patient's HIV test. I mean, any person who wants to voluntarily check up. Or knowing that, Karam, throughout the years, Palla um, uh, World AIDS Day programs, etc. Uh, one of the main things that people have communities and and uh, organizations have pushed for, and world over, health leaders have spoken about, is to have freely available testing services. Because only if we test, we will know what our status is. And it's very important, especially for people who are in relationships with multiple partners, or uh, uh, especially with you know drug users or any high risk group. Because other than that, people who are involved in relationships, I think it's healthier to actually be able to test. Now, even if any any lab in India should will be able to standardized lab should be able to do this test before we do HIV testing. It is prerogative that there is a consent sign formed in the Varimbo. There is a, some sort of minor counselling which is given, and there is a consent form to ensure confidentiality. So okay. all labs in India will do this. Uh, mm -hmm. However, government-approved labs, in the sense where it's done free of cost, these are called ICTC or Integrated, uh, you know, uh, counselling and testing centres. These are more than I think 500, 600 centres. You know, every every small hospital or taluk hospital, community health centres, all of them will have it. And the, uh, when you go there, everything is taken care of and it is done free of cost. So definitely, if we want to know our status, we can walk into any lab and get it done. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, madam. Uh, drug use in a particular part of Kerala. I'm just. If uh, we are a society, we are very good. If we are in a very good way, we are very good. At the same time, drug use has tremendously increased over the last decade. उत्तरी ये पर ड्रग अवेलेबिलिटी आने के लिए कॉमन आई टंड वाला रहे आपको लेने कैशुअल सेक्सेस बिकम मोर कॉमन नवरेस आपको व्हाट डू यू थिंक इप्पो एचआईवी एड्स ने पर्टिकुलर अवेयरनेस प्रोग्राम्स आने के लिए कम्युनिटी इन्वॉल्वमेंट आने के लिए ये रो सिनेरियल एक्टर तोड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट आना � there are different things that cross culturalism is bringing into our society about uh, those are things that we cannot prevent many things uh, what was there about maybe 40 50 years ago it's it's different from what it is now i mean it, what was then is not now and vice versa about there are some things that we have to know that um, no matter what the changes are namakuru uh, basic awareness and the ability to stay safe well. Whether uh, uh, it is the question of casual sex and multiple sexual partners, uh, I mean, I think there is there is always uh, safety and ex exclusivity and this awareness. So once you are aware that this is the situation, HIV can transmit in these ways, there are certain decisions that you will take. First of all, uh, one should get, get themselves tested to know what their current status is. They should also preferably know the status of their partners. So that is one thing. The other thing is, uh, in the group which has injectable drug users, people who who use these products, mm -hmm. one of the things is, of course, stay off it is the first thing. But say, in that there are safer practices, which means we do not allow or we don't uh, we take care that we don't share needles, needles, syringes, anything which is used by another person, namalavda avoid it. So those are the basic safety protocols that we need to take. Um, yeah. Other than that, of course, uh, like I said, testing and if you're eligible for ART and treatment, go for it. 
and that uh, brings us to the next question about ART anti retroviral therapy um ipo pandatha vechi nokumbo i think the treatment has uh, advanced a lot alle madam ipo side effect profile anengilum efficacy anengilum adu pole quality of life of uh, hiv people living with hiv has also improved a lot over years appo ipulthe treatment inna pettite onna oru overall oru idea tharamo madam about the efficacy and uh, yes appo from the first you know in india itself uh, initial stages le when narco made hiv i mean when art available art nu parembo highly active anti retroviral therapy it's called hart um from the first, first time it was rolled out you know and that also initially it was costed then it became free of cost in every art center uh a samayam around 2000 i think around 13 uh, sorry before that 2005 6 uh, 7 those are the years when you know drugs started rolling out about the initial drugs that we had um, first of all there were many drugs that patients had to use at a particular time on dairo adane some was to be taken only at the night there were many side effects to these drugs pala drugs you know valare you know dangerous and difficult at all you know drug reactions skin reactions at on dairo chiller ke hepatitis on dairo adu it was it was very difficult set of drugs but say we didn't have choice because also uh, you know india uh, was actually one being resource poor was one of the places where the initial set of drugs were rolling in first like all over the world only but um those drugs have now given way to newer combination therapies where ipo nammal actually ullada art centers la kodukuna is just one single tablet once a day so imagine the pro- and this tablet doesn't have any much side effects compared to the previous generation drugs yeah and the ease of uh, you know taking this is tremendous and the only thing that patients need to do is to show up on time collect their free drugs and to take it but she other than uh, is uh, you know defaulters are quite a lot in that and that's one of the things that we shouldn't do karanam art thodangi shesham you know it's so convenient it's free idella aitund but she defaulters because of personal reasons because of you know they feel better so they think they are fine angana oru situations okka varumbo when they default when you restart again the same medicine may not actually work very well karanam the hiv virus is highly you know res- it can develop resistance yes so that's the danger that we run appo eppozhum nammal art thodangumbo it should not be taken as a casual thing it's a very important drug it's a life saving drug and it has to be taken every day without fail you know so that hiv virus replicate itla body le nammude immunity is preserved and we live long and healthy lives as much as possible with the help of art and, and um, of course it's getting better uh, you know now we can actually read about the injectable hiv drugs bolo und ipo i mean people are uh, there are trials running for drugs you know uh, capnova and all which are given just once in two months appo these are all life changing appo daily edukunnendo oru prashna illa but it hasn't come to india of course uh, so we are in very good times as far as art is concerned as long as we just stick to it patient should be encouraged to be taking the drug without defaulting so is art given free of cost and the question und uh, yes definitely definitely at uh, only at naco approved naco is a national uh, you know the aids control organization the our, our national program for aids uh, they, they have recognized medical colleges certain centers uh, which provide which have art centers and even they have their regular supply of uh, good um the same brand as what's available privately and this is given to the art centers free of cost to give to patients you can also buy it but there are people who may not really uh, they are kind of reluctant to go to you know medical colleges or have a, uh, go there whatever it, their reasons are so even that now can be actually um, easily done because i think for a month it costs us about 2000 2500 rupees so if they do not want it free of cost it's also not very expensive these days yeah so we have another question please give an insight on protocol for <laughs> needle 
So this is very important uh, because um, from healthcare workers are uh, HIV patients in there uh, use either to line needles okay, uh, accidentally exposed to one chance and the bole um, HIV patient site uh, there is chance for high ex- high risk exposure to one little level to prevent um, uh, con- contracting HIV what can be done in the leather so yeah so I think that is the uh, area of post exposure prophylaxis means how yeah. do we how do we prevent uh, an infection an inadvertent in- infection karnam um, and i think it's relevant to uh, basically healthcare workers karnam um, when we work with patients who may be patients who may or may not have hiv and the universal precautions in the varnar concept under that means we treat all patients all uh, patients who are admitted or whoever we see in the hospital as uh, infected about we don't say that okay they are hiv negative so therefore we don't use gloves angana or concept illalo so we use universal precautions appo uh, that is the one of the most important aspects of prevention of hiv now other could are there there might be a situation where there is a needle stick injury where there is a blood splash angana varumbolthena the concept of post exposure for flax so that is art again the same drugs which are used as medicines are given to the healthcare worker uh in at the time of you know ideally they need to test themselves first to ensure that they are hiv negative and that ana nammal first dose kodukkunnathu so ideally within the first 2 hours but definitely make it a point within the first 72 hours irka even if there may be a question of whether the patient is not positive or you want to do some other test whatever it is ideally should be taken within the first 72 hours and that is something that we have to remember and most centers do have uh, all hospitals in fact it's one of the protocols that we have to have pp available to all healthcare workers and uh, most hospitals most clinics have a uh, awareness and our guru uh, there is a box a first aid box nu parayna pole ne there is a post exposure prophylaxis kit to make you um yeah the uh, one more thing is that uh, needle stick injury kaiyittulla idana post exposure nu parayna there is also a concept of pre exposure prophylaxis uh, i don't that yeah, yeah that is before exposure it's not we don't practice it commonly in india it's only in very case to case basis like yeah no but mm-hmm. um in the west uh, and we know that you know even if you read uh, there is pp and prep also post pre exposure prophylaxis also available even through pharmacies you have to fill up your details and all that but it's available adu karanam the emphasis is on prevention of hiv infection so the idea is that any needle stick injury anything anybody has a doubt anywhere or they you have a situation where you're going to be exposed to an hiv positive individual these are partners who may be you know living with hiv positive or um, rape victims any of those situations which there is a possibility commercial sex workers it should be available to them free of cost and they should be able to get it so that they are not infected so there is a concept called prep uh, which is there which is not yet i mean it's there in india but we don't practice it too much yeah. uh, pre exposure prophylaxis na um, eligible population na varina arukkana madam i mean pre exposure the... prophylaxis um, in india i'm telling you like it's not really uh, popular because um, one i guess the awareness is not there secondly you know we don't we don't have enough of drugs resource poor either and we don't encourage too much of that uh, pre exposure but still if there is a situation where uh, say for example there is a person appo idina oru very common area parayna the pre exposure nammal kodukuna or area und that is for, for discordant couples who are trying to conceive no remember hiv positive uh, say one spouse and hiv negative other spouse if they are trying to have a baby apo anneram we make sure that there is art or pre exposure prophylaxis given to the negative partner so that you know they can conceive so that is the one area where it is uh, used properly okay so we have a question can tattooing cause hiv uh that's a common doubt i think yeah so that is something that you have to know that there is a risk other than definitely risk and i think ta- tattoo parlors are like ipam oru it's become so common um 
and uh, nobody even bats an eyelid to get a tattoo unfortunately mm-hmm. what is taken for granted is that it's all safe most mm-hmm. of the time i think it is safe karnam a uh, set of needles ella uh, uh, unused ana or their new set of needles and uh, even the inks which are used are generally uh, newer bottles but say idellellam suppose you do it in a place which is not so you know uh, quality control onnu illallo idinonum so a oru not so very uh, you know uh, regulated place le cheyidal oru pakshe there is a chance because you can have the same needles which have gone into an hiv infected person coming back into your system though the chances are very minimal still if there is if there is blood which is viable and fresh and multiple people are getting tattooed at the same time from the same ink pot all these things are possible it is possible again the transmission is very low but it's possible okay uh, we have a question about the vaccine the efficacy of vaccine uh, in hiv ellarude or aagraha an hiv ku or vaccine endengil ennallathu what do you think madam uh, hiv vaccine uh, in near future like, can we expect a, uh, an effective hiv vaccine Yeah, I, I I think this is the one area where um, science has not yet made a big breakthrough because unfortunately we are 40 years down since 1983 of you know finding the virus and because it's such a you know terribly mutating virus we don't have a vaccine available till date apo uh, the only vaccine we have is safer practices and being tested so i think we are miles away we don't even have like i think first phase trial and thing and other that itself was not very successful but we are definitely uh, ve- nowhere in the space of finding a vaccine for hiv as of now okay uh itavana the world aids day team nu parayunathu it's like let communities lead nalladu uh so in that adinde a oru relevance madam let communities lead what is the importance of this uh, theme in today's world yeah so this times uh, theme is a little different from all the other times of get tested and all all that remains but say i think this year the they have decided to empower certain communities which mm-hmm. work with hiv very very strongly like namada Uh, msm communities male males having sex with males alengi nammude idu users in their uh alengi commercial sex workers these uh and there are certain group of communities like you know people who run ngos government organizations you know uh, self help groups idellam actually together aanu nammle we are trying to end the uh, the uh, pandemic of uh, hiv because there is since there's no vaccine and the best that we have is you know post exposure or pre exposure prophylaxis the only thing that we do is to we have the best thing we have is to prevent transmission to by being aware and idile kore ke stigma ullo unde e at risk group ulla aalkar they are very mostly they are very marginalized uh no remember they they don't come out very easily and it's it's even uh stig- the stigma is still high even now even though the uh, number of cases are declining and the general fear and stigma is definitely lesser than before there is still mm-hmm. a lot of you know stigma and mm-hmm. these groups are actually uh you know they are the ones who are actually empowering these people to take their art to get tested so this your theme is to empower these group of people and i i think as healthcare professionals nammalum avare edayile nammal pravartikanam is definitely one thing for us to accept these people as our mainstream patients many of the times it's not very easy because our defaulters you know they're not very reliable as patients avare ke und and you know we don't have the patience to stay with them but i think as a calling as a fraternity we need to also empower these groups of people so i think this is theme is is excellent and we need to all play a role in that you know empowering these communities okay uh, we have a question is ending hiv aids in 2025 a reachable goal so 2025 i think the goal was uh, less than 95% ana that means uh, 95% of the people who are living with hiv aids need to know it's 1990 1990 sorry so you need to know that you are having hiv 
these people should have been on art also 90% of these people should be on art and uh, of these people the 90% should have very very uh, low loads or rather undetectable loads so that undetectable loads avumbertena art work inu adinartham namukku transmission illa so that is the aim so if we reach there uh, we can get there but i don't think 2025 is the goal i think as far as i know it's i think 2030 so but if we all work together why not yeah okay uh another question we have from from adarsh kv pre exposure for surgeons getting in for retro positive cases i think pre exposure venamo enna irikkam for surgeons getting in for uh, retro positive cases ponavarku pre exposure prophylaxis edikkanda avashyam undo yeah so that's a very, very interesting question uh, it crossed my mind as well and i think that is the area which we would all like to use it but shay idinathu oru kaari undu you must understand that pre exposure uh, prophylaxis is not taking like a single tablet and getting in for a surgery angane alla karanam pre exposure prophylaxis yes i think it's a very valid point uh, a valid case wherein uh, you know the benefit of pre exposure prep should be given to these people to these surgeons pakshe it's not a single tablet before one surgery you mm. have to take art for at least one week to have you know tissue detectable levels of art in your system ideally it should be at least a month so the question of how practical is it mm. so uh, uh, if it was just you know like okay you know um, just one tablet before surgery angana alla this you sh- ideally need to start prepping at least a week before at least so i think that's where the trick is yeah okay i think uh, we have come to the end uh i think nammal um, hiv aids sambandhichittulla oru vaadu karyangal discuss edu ottri doubts and clear edu and i don't think we have any more questions to answer uh, yeah maybe not uh, <laughs> yeah, there's so many things you know like uh, i just wanted to add on one more thing the question get uh, up uh for before surgery alle in fact i remember manning the uh, emergency room one night uh back when i was a student i think it was a pg in those days and we got a phone call i think I mean, it was a guy of course and he the question was you know i i never forget that the question was uh, my condom broke uh, uh and what can i do to prevent hiv i remember answering that call and those were the days we didn't when we didn't have uh, post exposure prophylaxis available readily to anybody else but that is the ideal situation where people should be uh, i mean they should know if they are aware of that for example if the partner is hiv positive or they are not aware of their status and there is a big role of hiv uh, of uh, art there of post exposure prophylaxis so i think that's what we need to work towards we need to work towards zero transmission with the help of the medicines that we have okay uh one question yeah. is there a message to who indulge in unprotected casual sex i think you've already answered but <laughs> yeah so there i don't think there's anything like casual sex there's always i mean it's not just a sex it's there's a, there's a whole lot of other things which go uh, beyond that but that's of course a different session but uh what happens when these uh, situations is that sometimes there is no control over these um uh things like um you don't know the status of the person uh you don't know your status and then you have no idea see we're just talking about hiv but there are a whole lot of other things which are equally or equally or worse like for example hepatitis b is really bad because the risk of transmission is much more than hiv and uh people uh, who are unprotected are generally they are just an you know easy target for any of these sexually transmitted infections and therefore uh, the idea is always to be careful to be as exclusive as possible to not have high risk behavior because we don't want to tempt fate isn't it because we know it's hard risky then we don't we don't involve ourselves in that so i think that's the message that uh, you know is is there okay 
I think it's been 40 minutes uh, of a live session. Uh, we can wind up the session. Uh, yeah. All the questions have been answered. Thank <laughs> and you. I think uh, is MSM contact safe, less risky compared to the other, I think. Uh, um, uh, MSM, uh, if it's non penetrative sex, uh yes it's less risky which means to say that kissing or oral sex does not transmit as much as hiv though there's always risk like i said in anything rectum color and the body fluids are angle our respond but uh, uh vaginal and anal sex both carry very high risk of transmission vaginal more than anal but then it's almost you cannot say you know uh msms are uh they are better off in fact anal sex has really really a uh, high incidence of uh, uh, HIV reason is also because many of them have co concomitant uh, other sexually transmitted diseases on down. Uh, they may have urethral discharges, alingi ulcers, idellam on down, the risk of transmission actually doubles and triples. So, mm -hmm. definitely not uh, a safe uh, form. Yes. Not uh, less risky okay uh, okay so that was a very insightful yes. session uh thank you actually discuss and uh, thank you all thank you all audience uh, for joining us in this session and making this uh success uh thank you thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes thank you i i was uh i was hoping i mean I, there's some glitch because I still can't see you, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it was a good session. I think we managed to do a few, clear a few doubts. So that's good. Yeah. So have a good evening and happy World AIDS Day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Everyone.